be doing my February empties. I am posting this a little bit earlier than I usually do just because I already have a ton and I figured that it was just time to film it. I got home from work and so sorry if my makeup doesn't look perfect, but I just wanted to quickly film this for you guys. So I have a lot of big items I'm going to go ahead and start with. The first is Scope. If you've been watching me and my empties for a while, this is always in my empties. It's my favorite mouthwash. I go through it all the time because I use it every day. Swear by it. I hate Listerine. So I'll always repurchase Scope. Lots of hair products. Um, I went through a lot of things this month that I used for months and months and just used up this month, so keep that in mind. Um, first is a dry shampoo from Dove. This is one of my holy grail dry shampoos. I constantly repurchase this. I love how it smells. Oh, just a very light, soft, florally scent. Really nice. Um, it doesn't have a very bad white cast as long as I hold it far enough back from my head. Um, if I hold it too close to my head, I will get a white cast. But it disappears very easily when I, you know, maneuver it with my fingers. I really, really love this and will definitely repurchase. It's so inexpensive too, which is awesome. Another hair product was this L'Oreal Smooth Intense Polishing Conditioner. This is from their Advanced Hair Care line. It's supposed to be for frizzy hair. It smells really good. That's one positive. Yeah, oh my gosh, it smells really sweet and yummy. I love it. Um, I like how it made my hair feel, made my hair feel really nice and soft, but I don't really use regular conditioner like this very often, just because you can't tell because this is black, but I have a lot of hair, um, and it's pretty thick and normally very frizzy and curly, naturally curly. I straighten my hair, I blow dry it and straighten it out, so, and this isn't sulfate free either. I don't know. I, I'm kind of mixed emotions about it. I don't think I'll repurchase it though. I had a coupon for it and that's why I ended up purchasing that way, way long time ago, like about a year ago. Next is a hairspray and I really, really like this. I got this from Sally Beauty Supply. Not sure where else you can get it. It's from the one and only Argon Oil line and it's a hairspray that has a strong hold with intense shine because it's infused with Argon Oil. Now, you can go overboard with this because it has that shine spray in it, so you don't want to make your hair look greasy. I mean, it's not that strong of a shine where it's going to look greasy, but you can go overboard with this. It's a good hold, but it's not strong, so strong that you can't run your fingers through it. It's pretty inexpensive. It lasted me a long, long time. I actually also use this to manage little baby flyaways on the like, crown of my head. So... I would definitely repurchase this in the future. Right now I have a lot of different hairsprays that I need to get through under my sink first. It's a scrub that I've had in my shower for a while. I love, love, love these scrubs. They're from the Lalicious line. This is in the Sugar Kiss, and these are whipped sugar scrubs. Um, let me hold it up so you can see it. They are some, this Lalicious line is sometimes on Hot Look. So, and that's like, you know, a flash sale site. I'll have my link down below for you guys, but, um, Oh my gosh, this smells so sweet and yummy. I love the scent. I've also gone through a coconut, a lemon one from them, and I think a vanilla sugar. This is my favorite, the Sugar Kiss. Um, it smells like the perfume, oh my God, I can't think of what it's called now, that's so annoying. I will have it listed right here. It smells exactly like it to me, and there's a lotion that accompanies this that I love as well, but I would definitely continue to repurchase these scrubs. They have such a really great texture to them. They're very hydrating as well. They have like a great moisturizing, um, like oil infused in them, but they're not oily. It's like a whipped texture. I wish I could show it to you, but it's empty, so I can't. Um, but I just love it so much because I don't even have to condition my legs or anywhere I put this scrub on. After I get out of the shower, I already feel moisturized. So definitely love these and would continue to repurchase them. I also used up a crisp morning air gentle foaming hand soap from Bath & Body Works. Love this scent. It was a very um, apple, very apple smelling, um, very fall scent. I would definitely repurchase these. I have a ton under my sink again though so I won't need to repurchase for a while. Another foaming hand soap from Bath & Body. This is the Ice Gingerbread Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. I 
I have some wipes. First are these Kirkland baby wipes. I get these in a huge pack at Costco. I use these um, every single day to wipe off my hands from when I'm doing my makeup or to wipe off swatches when I do videos for you guys. It's way more inexpensive than using makeup wipes. I went through a 25 pack of the Neutrogena um, cleansing towelettes, the original. This is my holy grail makeup wipe. I love, love, love these. I also went through a little baby one when I was traveling last month, and there's only seven in this little pack. I went through some cotton rounds. These were just purchased at Walgreens, I believe. They're the Studio 35 textured cotton rounds. There were 80 in here. Use these to remove my eye makeup. Use them as with toner. That's pretty much it, I think. Nail polish remover when I don't have like gels on. They're pretty good. I really do like my cotton clouds better, but I haven't ordered them off Amazon recently. Okay, I do have a lot of samples to show you guys, and I have a lot of makeup and skincare left over. So the first thing is a mask. This is the Freeman Clay Mask with Avocado and Oatmeal. This felt very refreshing on the skin. It had a very like um, spa scent to it. This was supposed to be a pore purging mask. I don't know if I really saw any difference. It did make my face feel really tight, so I felt like I needed a moisturizer afterwards. Um, I think I got like three or four uses, probably three uses, out of this little sample pack, so that was pretty good. I don't know if I, I don't think I would get a full size. I used up a ton of samples, like I said. So the first one here is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Medi Spa Peels. And it comes with the one peel pad. I think I kept it to show you. Oh, it's kind of dirty. But just this little peel pad. And it was, you know, completely saturated with the solution. And then you have the Medispa Peel Step 2, which is the firming peptide milk that you put on afterwards. And you don't wash this off. And <laughs> let me just tell you that the next day, my skin did gently peel which I've never had dry skin really in my life, knock on wood. I usually have like normal to oily. So it was so weird for me to have my skin flaking. Um, but so it does work is what I'm trying to tell you. I don't really know how I feel about purchasing this, but if you really need a good like gentle peel, I think it was good. I used some foundation samples. Um, the Hourglass Hyaluronic Skin Tint, also known as the Illusion Foundation. I have it in warm ivory and I also went through the shell. I'm closer to the color shell. Warm ivory was definitely a little too yellow. Better for me when I'm self tanning, which hasn't happened very often. Love, love, love this foundation. It's more like a satin, a little bit of a glow look to it. It has more of a thicker, moussey texture. It just looks amazing on the skin. A lot of you would ask me what I was wearing when I was wearing this in videos. So I would definitely purchase that in the future once I work through some of my other foundations. I also used up a sample of the new Dior Star foundation. Um, I, I brought home shade 10 and 20. I feel like I'm kind of in the middle. I need to mix them to have my perfect shade. So for that reason, I don't think I purchased it. Also didn't last as well on my skin. Um, it's a beautiful look, but it was a little maybe too glowy over time as I wore it. The Peter Thomas Roth Gold Mask this actually has gold in the mask. It's more like a gel consistency. I really didn't see anything magical happen to my skin. I This sample lasted me probably two or three times. It's expensive. It's like $80, and I didn't see enough results to really warrant buying it. It's supposed to kind of firm lift the skin because gold um, doesn't pull down, it pulls up. It's like anti-gravity. So it's interesting concept, but I don't think I'd purchase it. And the other one was the Chloroplasma Mask from Paracone. I really did like this one. Um, it's white initially and you rub it into your skin and it turns green. I should really have looked up more information on this. It's an anti-aging treatment mask and it has revitalizing micro capsules in it. Um, and it's supposed to detoxify and cleanse the skin and addresses loss of radiance, dullness, and fatigue skin. I really liked it. I don't know if it did all that, but hair combs, again, really expensive. So I think I'll work through all my masks before I think about that. Another skincare product was from Ren Clean Skincare. 
This is a deluxe size sample. I got a lot of use out of this. It's their Flash Rinse One Minute Facial with Water Activated Vitamin C. You just leave this on, you massage it into the skin, leave it on for literally one minute and wash it off. This is amazing. It brightens my skin so much and leaves my skin super soft. I would definitely purchase this. The sample I used up was from Bliss. This is the Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask. Has a little pump. Smells so good, like very citrusy. And it comes out as like an orange liquid. Once you put it on your skin, it starts to foam up. No joke. And after you let it sit on your skin for 10 minutes and you have like a big full face of foam, you rinse it off and your face is so bright and beautiful. Love this. If I found it on sale like at TJ Maxx because they always have Bliss products, I would snag it because it's awesome. I also use this deluxe size sample of the Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkle Peel Pads. These have vitamins A, C, D, E, and F, chamomile, green tea extracts. They exfoliate and resurface the skin. They're meant as like something that you would use after cleansing the skin as more of a treatment. Um, I don't think I have any. Oh, I did keep one. They just look like, like this. And you do just leave these on for a few minutes. You will feel it tingle, let me tell you right now. And then you remove it. I could not put this on my upper lip because my upper lip is so sensitive, like right here, um, that it was not good. <laughs> Otherwise, it really did do great things for my skin. I did feel like my skin was softer and looked really great after it. There were, how many peels in here? I think there were like 10 to 20 in this little pack. I got it in gratis. Oh, there were 20 pads in here. Also used up this little baby size of the Sephora Instant Eye Makeup Remover. Um, it's the 1.69 fluid ounce. It usually has a blue layer and a like oil layer. You shake it together, removes waterproof eye makeup remover. I do really like this, but it can tend to sting my eyes a little bit because my eyes can be sensitive. Another little sample, as you can see, it's completely empty. This was from Lush. It's their new Charity Pot Lotion. I love this. It's so moisturizing. Feels amazing. I use it on my hands mostly and it's really, really nice. I would think about purchasing this. I like the scent of it too. Um, I actually like it better than the original. I know a lot of people are like whining about not having the original Charity Pop, but I didn't like the scent of that. I really like the really fresh, almost citrusy scent to this. It's very just fresh. I don't know. There's no other word for it. And last but definitely not least skincare item is my Tarte Pure Maracuja Oil. I can't believe this is gone. I'm so sad, but let me tell you, this lasted me so long. Like, I did not use this religiously every single day because I tried new moisturizers in between here and there, but I've had this at least six to eight months. You don't need very much of it. It's just a little dropper. This is an oil, I guess I should tell you that. It's in like a dropper, so you just use a few drops, put it in your hand, rub your hands together a little, and pat it in an upwards motion on your face, and it, you can use it in place as a moist, of a moisturizer like I did, or you can just add a few drops to your regular night moisturizer or day moisturizer for extra hydration. Love this, love this, love this, and if I didn't have so many other back stocks of skincare, I would go and repurchase this right away, because that's how much I love it. And it's natural, it's more natural, which is awesome. Okay, now I have a few makeup items, and some of them are not completely used up, and I'll show you why. The first is my Jouer Matte Moisture Tint. This is the oil-free version. I am in the shade Linen. Well, I was in the shade Linen. I'm actually even paler now, because this is more of like a yellow tone. I almost got through the whole thing. There is a little bit on the bottom. I can't use it anymore. This has expired majorly. It's starting to separate on me. I almost got through it, so I'm like so sad that I have to throw the rest of this out. I do have a backup of a lighter color, thanks to Sammy. I will link her channel down below. She's so sweet and sent me her her shade because she wasn't using it. Um, so yeah, I still do have a backup, but I'm sad that I didn't get to completely use that up. I also used up this Chanel Les Beiges Healthy Glow Sheer Color um, Powder in number 20 I was. It has a little CCs on it. So I really liked this powder initially. Um, it has a really beautiful rose scent, just like all Chanel products do. As you can see, there are there is some still around the rim. 
This powder wore away very strangely. Um, only the center was wearing away. So there, I mean, like, I don't know if you can see, but there's a ton of product around the edges, and I just can't get the sponge or my brush to collect that product. It was a really pretty powder, but I won't repurchase it just for the fact of how it wears away and it crumbles. Um, for the price, it's Chanel. It should be absolutely magical and work everything about it should work. So for that reason, I won't repurchase, but it was very pretty. In the powders, I also used up this little baby size of the Makeup Forever HD powder setting powder. Um, I actually even took out the little stopper so I could get every little bit out of this. I love this. It's just a translucent powder. Um, but it kind of fills in pore areas too, I feel like, and it was so beautiful on film and in photos. I loved it. Um, I probably would purchase it in the future. This came in like a little Sephora grab bag or something, like a 500 point perk. So I would think about purchasing it. Two mascaras I used up this month. The first one is the MAC Hot and Naughty 2 Black Light. And it's big and fluffy like that. And then if you put it back in and open this little top part here, it has less product on the brush. I'm not even sure you're going to be able to tell. And it's just like skinnier, not as fluff, not as many bristles. Um, I do really like this mascara. It's probably the only MAC mascara I will purchase just because it's the only one that's worked for me. Um, Initially, when I get this, it's really a very, very wet mascara, and it can tend to weigh down my lashes, so I have to be careful about not putting too much of this on, or it will get clumpy and a hot mess. So, do I think it's worth me purchasing again? Probably not. I have a lot of other mascaras I like better, but I will back to MAC this. I also have a little deluxe size mascara from Hourglass. This is their Film Noir Mascara in Onyx. I loved this really great volumizing mascara. <laughs> it's a little bit of a hot mess. I wish I could show you the wand, but the little stopper came out and it's so messy and disgusting right now. So I probably could have still got more use out of this. I've been using it for like a month now, um, but I just gotta say bye bye to it because it's really messy. And last makeup item is another MAC item. It's the Paint Pot and Bear Study. I got a lot, a lot of use out of this. I did hit pan on it. I hope you can see this. But there is still a good deal of product around the edges. It's all dried out and cracked and gross. It really um, gets clumpy on my lids, like it creases like a mother. So I have tried to revive this. It's just time for it to go bye-bye. I've had this for like two years or maybe a year and a half. I don't know, it's been a really long time. So it's going bye-bye, but it's a really beautiful pearlescent nude shade that I really like to use all over my lid. Um, I don't know if I'll repurchase it. I'm kind of over the cream shadow basis right now. Just one candle for this month. This is the winter candle. I love the scent, but this burned terribly, terribly. I don't know if you can tell from the sides there. But I kept having to relight it and relight it because it kept burning out and the wicks weren't working very well and it was just a pain in my butt. Um, I don't know what's going on with Bath & Body. I've been having an issue with their candles burning properly lately from the ones that I purchased in the winter time. So someone tell me, am I the only one that's happening to you or what? Um, anyways, I just went through one of those. I would probably repurchase it because I love that scent. Two food items that I had to mention because I've been loving them so much. This, I think I might have talked about this before. It's the UD's gluten-free Simple Honest Ingredients. It's their granola, the original flavor, and it has raisins, banana chips, honey, and nuts. Um, it's Obviously, it's certified gluten-free, and it has very minimal ingredients in it. Um, it has like, I like it because it has more of a crunch to it more of a you know substantial granola that's not too high in calories it's only 130 calories and a lot of granolas are usually in the 200 calorie range i get these at costco really really like it or whole foods and oh my goodness let's take a little pause for this these babies the just mango slices they're dried mango they're unsulfured and unsweetened so it's just purely mango no added sugars. I get this at Trader Joe's. So yummy. I can't even believe they're unsweetened because they're so sweet and they're the perfect treat after like dinner when you're still like, I want something sweet. 
Grab some dried fruit like this. Um, I don't know, obviously these are the Trader Joe's ones, but I'm sure you can find unsweetened, unsulfured dried fruit at like Whole Foods and stuff too. But I need to go get me some more of this. I only got one pack last week. I need like three in my pantry at all time. So that's it for my February empties. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.